Danielle is walking into the jungle and discovers that someone has walked right into her trap. Like I mentioned in the previous episode, Ben was either heading down to their camp when he got caught, or he was heading to or from the Pearl Station. On the official Lost podcast, the showrunners say that he really got caught on accident. I'd like to know if he actually got caught in the net deliberately, or was Ben just actually, you know, got caught? He got caught. Deli- he got caught by accident. By accident. Yes, he was not. He did not try to get caught in uh, Russo's yeah. trap. She's now heading towards the main beach camp, and Lucia spots her and then runs to the beach, asking for Jack. Saeed comes with her and then he sends Anna back. Where are we going? You said you were looking for me. What was your plan? To hide in the woods? Hoping I would pass you by? Ah! I'm going to cut him down. Don't. Thank you. You're making a serious mistake. After being cut down, he immediately begins to run, earning him an arrow in the back from Rousseau's crossbow. Ben has a tendency to overly trust the island protecting him. He didn't think Kimi would kill his daughter, just like he probably didn't think Rousseau would actually shoot him. Or did he? I guess he knew the island wouldn't let him die, but that if he got to the survivor's camp wounded, he would get a lot of time with Jack, one of the people he needed to manipulate. For his surgery. Now he had to play the game of a wounded and confused victim. Danielle will still be around in the jungle, close to their camp, since she'll arrive on the beach camp later that same night, when she hears Aaron crying. What are you doing here? You stay away from us. He's infected, isn't he? Soy goes into the jungle, annoyed by tree frog, and stumbles upon Hurley. Hurley goes out to help him. Said brings the man to the swan. Locke is on hatch duty, sleeping. Come out here. They talk to the captive, who says he came to the island in a balloon. Jack cops down. He treats his wounds and removes the arrow. What do you think, John? I think he's pretty convincing. Yes, he is. Said convinces Locke to change the armor combination and lock Said in with Henry, so that Said may torture the man and find out if he is lying. Locke changes it. We can't just leave him laying here, Jack. People see him will create a panic. Yeah? Well, where do you think we should put him? I say we put him in the armory. Secure. They bring him in. Said locks himself inside with him. Let's go back into the jungle. With Hurley's help, Sawyer finds and kills the tree frog. Dude. What? You said you came to this island four months ago, yes? Where am I? Please. Answer my question. Said interrogates and tortures the fake Henry Gale. He says some interesting things in regards of the map, such as him claiming that it's a two-day walk from the beach he was staying at. He also says that he's been there for four months, but three weeks ago, his wife got sick, which would place it around the end of season one. Remember, in my video on the season one finale, I mentioned the theory that the others killed Henry Gale after witnessing the signal fire he made, suggesting to me that Ben is using this information to make his cover story in terms of distance of the beach and timing. It could be this beach. Speaking of time, the time is running out. Locke opens the armory for Jack and then runs to the computer dome to type in the code. Jack gets Saeed out. The station gears up for system failure, but there is a possibility to trick the computer into pushing the button after the countdown has reached past the zero. These hieroglyphs have later been confirmed as meaning underworld. Uh, what exactly is the literal translation of those hieroglyphics? The literal translation of the of the five resolved. Yeah. Basically, hieroglyphics. Um, each character means something separate, but those five hieroglyphics together are the symbol for underworld. Um, in uh, you know, in Egyptian, and they found but, it in. But there are there are sort of it's subject to interpretation. But that's kind of the closest uh, translation. They all go back to the living area until Saeed leaves. Jack and Locke probably talk a little bit about what they're going to do about the shifts. Kate and Hurley are all in on it, but they can't know about Henry Gale, so they both agree that they should do it together. By now you might have wondered why in the world did the Dharma Initiative do this whole thing as a manned mission instead of automatically program it with a computer? We were so close to a system failure in this episode. First of all, we've come a long way with computer technology since the late 70s. The main unit here is an Apple II, 
released in 1977, with the monitor being from the Apple III series, released in 1980. Second of all, there are hostiles on the island. At the flame, there was even a security number that had to be entered into the computer if the hostiles had taken over the station. The Swan workers had to manually protect the station from them. Third notion, they are like canaries in the coal mine, just like we have operations today that are both done by computers, but with people present in case of a hardware malfunction. The Dharma Initiative didn't completely trust the computer, which is what the showrunner said about it. I think the idea of sort of trusting the machine, what if the power goes out, what if the station gets taken over by the hostiles, you know, it ha absolutely had to be manned by uh, human beings. What if beings. the machine becomes sentient? Yeah, well then you've got a Terminator situation. That's or, bad. You know, oh, I'll just place Hal in charge of the button because right. he's not going to go crazy or care. anything. They mention Hal, which is a reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey, where a mad mission to Jupiter goes bad after Hal 9000, which is referred to as a computer that has no errors. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. Suddenly has an error, and later decides to terminate the humans on board, believing that they will jeopardize the mission. Lastly, the show is a character story. Human beings damaged the island in the incident, and thus human beings had to tend the damaged island. Said mentions the man to Charlie, Locke or Jack go to the beach and relieve both Kate and Hurley from their coming shifts. See you guys next week, when we will have an all-female trek to the medical station.